Here at Reader Valentine Park, one of the one of the friendliest dog, off-leash dog areas in Steamboat Springs. We are here to catch you up on real estate. And today's theme is dog. Dogtown USA. Dogtown USA. Dogtown USA. So welcome to February 2018 Market Report. I'm Charlie Dresden. I'm Leah Dean. This is Steamboat's My Home. If you have any real estate questions, if you're thinking about buying or selling, feel free to give us a call, 970-846-6435. February 2018, 34.5 million in gross volume for February 2008. It's actually down 4.3% from 2017. But keep in mind, we're actually above our typical February numbers for the last eight years. Okay, so transactions in February, we saw 69 transactions during the month of February. That is down 33% from February 2017, and it's about 11% down from year to date this time last year as well. Again, like Charlie said, um, it's not that surprising. February is a little bit hit or miss. It does tend to go up and down. It's not quite as predictable as other months. So if we look at Route County uh, year to date pricing, sold properties are going for an average square price per square foot of 376 at the moment. That is actually an increase of 29% from the same year to date figures last year. Last year they were going for an average of about 292 a square foot. So again, 29% increase over the same period last year, average price per square foot. 60% of our transactions are actually under 500,000. So the majority of our transactions are below half a million dollars. And in February, 58% of buyers were getting loans on their properties and 42% were cash buyers. A little under half of those buyers, 46% were local, so they actually lived in Route County. 26% were uh, front range and 28% were another state, so outside of Colorado. Year to date for new listings, we're actually down 12% for single family homes and for townhomes and condos, down 29%. So a huge drop in inventory. But you know what, pending sales are up. Uh, if we look at year to date, sorry, February pending sales, single family homes is actually up 35%. And for condos and townhomes, we're up pending sales 14% over February last year. A year ago, 2017, for single family homes, we had 174 single family homes listing. Today we have 139, so down 20% in one year, single family home listings. And you know, it's the same situation with the condos and townhomes. This February, 224 properties are listed for sale. Last year it was actually 393, so that's a 43% decrease in our active townhomes and condos as well. So nationally, nothing really has changed there. Um, we're seeing the same trends that we've been seeing month over month. Um, all of the 20 census areas reported by Kay Schiller are showing gains, month over month gains. 6.2% from year to date, so Kay Schiller. Really, national home average tends to be about five, so we're accelerating a little bit faster than a 100 year trend. Also, local interest rates on the rise, 4.2 to about 4.35. So interest rates continue to go up. In, 19, in 2013, Dog Fancy Magazine, for whatever reason, called Steamboat Springs Dogtown USA. Now that's not as prestigious as say, Ski Town USA, but we'll take every kibble we can get. So get rid of your skis and just get yourself a dog and head on down here to the D-hole. This is one of the town's uh, most popular water holes for kids, dogs, families to play, swim. So locals know Steamboat's a great dog friendly town, but for tourists it's very friendly as well. You could go to VRBO or Airbnb, you'll find countless places uh, to bring your dog. Condos right downtown, small cabins on the core trail, and even luxurious ski chalets up on the mountain. So don't be afraid to bring your dogs if you're coming here for vacation. Okay, dog friendly town, you know when you're in a dog friendly town is when you go into your local bank and they have dog treats on the counter. <laughs> Favorite place to take my dog in town. And, you know, if you go out for restaurants and you want to walk around downtown, you could pretty much put your dog uh, on the railing out front. And there's always a dog bowl that dogs can drink water. So you could have a beer and the dog can have a drink too. So basically every contractor in town owns a truck and a dog and they pretty much go to, uh, go to work with them. So if you're, if you're building a house, expect to have about 14 dogs around. This guy, I don't, I don't even know who he is. We just walked up and he's a super awesome dog. He's a good boy. Oh, go kiss the dog. Yeah, I'm not kissing a stranger. So Rita Valentine is the main dog park here in Steamboat Springs, just under 40 acres, established in 1992. So welcome to Rita Valentine Park. This is the premier dog park in Steamboat Springs. 
It's probably one of the more premier off-leash areas here in Simo Springs. It's centrally located from halfway between downtown and the mountain area, and we got the Steamboat Spring ski area right here, so it's basically 40 some acres. Not all of it's off leash, so <laughs> stop when you get to the fence, stop when you get to the houses, stop when you get to the road, and to get here, just turn at Starbucks. So the uh, second off leash dog park is Spring Creek, right behind the high school. It's not a big section, but it's off leash, so it's kind of nice. So here in Spring Creek, you can take your dog off leash head up the Spring Creek Trail System, which is a really good mountain biking trail, running trail. You do have to have your dog on leash uh, up in the upper section, but there is a pond up there you can take them off. So this is the second off leash area in Steamboat Springs. Emerald Mountain, one of the more popular places to bring your dog because you could mountain bike with your dog, you could skate ski, you could trail run, uh, just explore. Emerald Mountain, just outside of town on the backside of Hallison Hill. If you have a dog, make sure you give him good loving and also pick up after his poop. We all appreciate it. Wildlife is in this area. Bears, moose, elk, deer, foxes. If your dog's gonna chase it, put them on a leash. So Whistler Park is on the south side of town. The ski area is right behind us here. So it's south of town, but still it's in the Whistler Park area. We have a soccer field, rugby field, lots of play equipment for little kids. Uh, Walton Creek, so dogs can you know drink and a lot of just area to run. This is a really good spot for the whole family to hang out. And you know, it gets a lot of use. It's a really popular place, and especially in the summer for families. And based on the, the heavy usage, it is actually off leash in certain areas at different times of the year. So we're here in Staley Park. This is actually Butcher Knife. Come here, buddy. Uh, this is a really great, ah, oh, hello, 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 hello. This is another off-leash area. Well, it's sort of off-leash. You kind of need your leashes to get through uh, the Butcher Knife Canyon. We have Butcher Knife Creek right behind us so dogs can take a, a drink of water. This is a great place to come. You just have to be aware of the limited dog off-leash hours just because this is the main walking path that takes you to Strawberry Park Elementary and to the middle school. One thing, it's a do not miss, biannual, is called the Poochie Paddle. Happens at Old Town Hot Springs here, which is right behind us. On April 29th, from two to four. Sunday. It is a Sunday afternoon. $5 if you pre-buy a ticket. $10 if you buy it at the door. And Proceeds then, go to Rout County Animal Shelter. So, right. support's a great thing. Poochie Paddle, it, it's amazing. So we got Old Town Hot Springs, they clean the pools twice a year, and they allow every mutt every crazy dog there's billions of dogs billions of balls it's basically a dog fest in the warm pool here at the hot springs so as you can see everybody in steamboat springs has a dog which is probably why <laughs> route county just ranked in the top 10 healthiest counties in the country number eight with us news <laughs> so pretty pretty awesome for route county whoever knew that they were keeping track of her healthiness here in route county so thanks again for tuning in to steamboatsmyhome.com thanks again to land title uh, for supplying all these stats. Hey Sheila, and also to the Steamboat Springs Board of Realtors. We really appreciate you. If you subscribe to this YouTube channel, please share this information. If you want to look at last month's blog, click on either corner. If you have any real estate questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me, Charlie Dresden or Leah, Leah Dean. Dean. 970-846-6435. See you next month. Mm -hmm.